Good morning guys. It won't let me go live. I am sitting here at beautiful Church Oak Cove, which is where I was locked down for three months, where I lived for three months in my tent. And I'm going to show you how incredibly beautiful this place is. And when I think of all the places, things that I've seen since I was here, it is amazing. It is so surreal. So that up there, that's the remains of Rufus Castle. And when I lived here, I used to say, good morning, Rufus, and good night, Rufus. And there, I loved the castle. And there's another castle next to it called Pennsylvania Castle. It is a posh castle where they have weddings and things, and it really wasn't, it's beautiful. It's a lovely castle, but I sort of had a little kinship with Rufus because he's just sort of the remains of it once was an incredible castle with its scars and its everything else. A bit like us sometimes. Not perfect, but still incredible. Look at that. And these are all the beach huts. And I'll tell you the story of the Brown Beach Hut in a minute. So I'm sitting here reflecting on my life and remembering the three months that I spent here in this beautiful place. Dorset is very close to my heart, as you know. This in Portland is my favourite place to be of all the places I've been on my journey. I'm sitting here. My friend Alison gave me a lovely cross. I'm sitting here eating some Warbacon's, Warburton's bagels with some pit nut peanut butter. That peanut butter is amazing. And the reason I'm doing that is when I was here in my tent, a great big fat rat chewed through my tent. It wasn't my big Agnes, thank God. It was a, a nature hike tent that I bought to have down here on the cove because I didn't want anything to happen to Aggie and this nature hike one was a bit more um, winterproof. <coughs> and I was here um, January, February, March of 2021. Well, I bought these today because when this rat got in my tent, my, my friend said to me, oh, a big fat rat coming your way. That's the sort of that might be signifying something. But anyway, I'll leave it there. But she was right. But I'm eating them this morning and no rat. No rat is going to get my Warburton's bagels. And no rat is going to come by me in my beautiful cove and ruin the, ruin the peace and harmony and the love that I have for this cove. But when I was locked down on the cove, when the rat got in my tent, a lady let me stay in her in her cabin which was amazing. <clears throat> so I got to spend a couple of weeks in that beautiful brown cabin over there. And it was wonderful. It was lovely, it was wonderful. I see some hikers coming down the track. Some hikers coming to see beautiful Church Oak Cove. And now so many beach huts, so many memories. I've talked to some of the ladies, uh, some of the people here, especially a lady who told me her memories and her family's memories at Church Oak Cove. And she's actually got a, a little bench up there, in memory, I think, of her father, if I get that right. But isn't it beautiful? It's the most magical place. And the only place you can get internet usually is right up here. But I'm not getting any internet today. But I'm, in, I'm still doing this video so you can see how truly amazing and beautiful this place is. So it looks like that couple may be walking the southwest coast path. don't know. I'm sure I'll see them in a minute. What a wonderful place. So there's 150 steps. I went up them and down them couple times a day, sometimes three or four times a day if I had to come back to my tent to get something and for three months and when you're down here you really don't get I was here 13 hours a night with no internet, no phone, no people, just me and I always felt sorry for the person that I saw first thing in the morning which was sometimes Katie or somebody in the volunteer centre I volunteered because I just wouldn't stop yapping. But sometimes it was somebody coming to their beach hut and it'd be the first human I'd seen for 13 hours. So there you go. 
It was a magical place and it was a wonderful, wonderful place. So I came here today to reflect on my journey, the things I've seen, the people I've met. Hello to all of you and welcome to my beautiful Church Oak Cove. Not mine. Welcome to this beautiful Church Oak Cove. And if you've never been, do come. Because it is a really special place. I was the mermaid on this cove for three months. What a truly, truly magical, wonderful experience it was. The people of Portland were amazing. The people of Easton, I would come to my tent and there would be, I come to my tent, there would be hot chocolate and mince pies and things waiting at my tent for me from the lovely people. And I couldn't pay them with money, so I would drop sea glass, bags of sea glass off at their door. I collected lots of sea glass during my time in Portland. And the people at the volunteer centre and the food bank were just incredible to me, welcoming me into the community until it was very sadly time for me to go. And look where I've been since. The Shetland Islands, the Orkney Islands. Oh, so many places. Wales, the Wales Coast Path. Lots and lots of places since I've left here. The Isle of Wight. Anyway, guys, have a lovely day and I'll catch up with you later. Lots of love. I'll tell you my plans for my further on journey, but some of the inner circle girls are coming down here to, today and tomorrow. Yes. So we'll hang out before I go. And then I get to go back to the yurt in our mine and see Dizzy and Ralph and, and Ocean and Solar again. Lots of love.